Thank you and welcome to the channel. My name is Chris Williams, aka Dark Hammock, and I got stable diffusion using CPU only working with a web interface on my personal computer. You might ask why? Well, I want to play with it. I only have a Radeon card and I cannot install Linux on my operating system as my operating system because I need Unreal 5 for game development. Um, so CPU only for right now is what I'm running. Um, you can go to my GitHub and I'll walk you through these instructions real quick. I got the requirements where it says you need a uh, Conda environment. You need to download Anaconda. The best place to go and do that is going to anaconda.com, downloading doing the install. Um, you're going to have to click next and accept, accept their licensing and stuff like that. And then some other things that you might need. You might need Git. I can guarantee you're going to need Git. And some people do not have it installed on their Windows PCs. Um, FFmpeg Imagine or uh, Image Magic and CURL, they were things that I installed. You might need them if you're playing around like I am. Um, if you're trying to go and get some stable diffusion stuff loaded in here on top of what I have already, it might work and you might need them to go and download things. One thing you are going to have to go get is WGET. And I couldn't get it to install into a path, so I just dropped it into my Windows slash system directory. Not the best bet, but that's how it goes. So, after you have Anaconda installed, what you're going to do is you're going to go here, go to Anaconda 3 64 bit, and run a Anaconda PowerShell prompt. You're going to go up here to the code, go down, download the zip, open it up to a folder where you know where it's at and you're gonna have to CD and command line to it. I am going to just open up my folder and it's real easy if you're not used to typing stuff you can right click up here in your taskbar copy link copy address as text go back here after you have CD paste it boom hit enter you're done you're good to go uh, back onto my website, my GitHub. Um, back down to here. What you're going to do is you need to run these commands from the directory, and all you have to do is copy this. You're going to put this in, come back, paste, and you're going to hit enter. I am not. If you did this after following my other tutorial, what I suggest you do is uninstall everything uninstall anaconda, delete the folder out, um, save your models that you had downloaded, you're going to need them for the rest of this tutorial, but clear everything out, even go into your user on Windows on your C drive and clear out the .conda folder that's on there. I had problems trying to go and get this to reinstall, I'm not that familiar with this environment, it's been a bit since I played with Python. Um, and most of my Python was in Blender, in all honesty, didn't have to worry about this kind of environment set up. So I'm learning just along with you guys. After you have that in, hit enter when you're up to this speed. Back to installing this the whole way. What you're going to see is you're going to see a wall of text. There's going to be some stuff that you're going to have to hit Y to go and accept. It is downloading the environment, building the location that you need. The next thing after that's all done, hit back here, you're going to want to do the same thing to this box right here. I had problems earlier in the day or else this video would have been done a whole lot sooner. Um, these have to be installed afterwards because if not it does crash out so you just do the same thing you're gonna have a command prompt here and this time you will be 
if everything went well on your little taskbar you should be in LDM that's when you want to back to here copy and from here control B what Okay, did not mean to do that. So, then you're going to control V and you're going to run this. This is going to install some more uh, dependencies that um, Stable Diffusion needs. I'll leave that big for now and we'll actually make this bigger. back up here done that step for the setup we've done this next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go to this link and before you can download anything there's going to be a box somewhere in here if you already didn't do it you're going to want to click that accept the license agreement um, read through it probably make an account and then after that you're going to go to files and versions now this is the original one that everybody has been using on most of the tutorials but they updated this one a couple days ago when i made my last video i've been using this but i have 32 gigs of system memory this one uses less memory i haven't noticed that it's any faster it might be a little bit faster but not by much you want to go ahead and download which one you want most likely this one. The difference in quality really isn't that far off. So, you're going to want to download that and then you're going to want to put that into models, LDM, stable diffusion V1. And you're going to want to drop that in here and rename it model.ckpt. I have both of them and I just rename them for whichever one I want to swap out. If I wanted to use this one, I would uh, rename this one large and then drop the underscore small off of this one. So if you want to have both of them installed, that's what I'd do. Then what you're going to want, and I don't know if this is a necessity right now since it's kind of broken, but we're going to go through. Um, you're going to want to download this and follow. This is for uh, better face generation. Click that link. It should download and you're going to want to put that into this directory that was created. And then you're going to want to download both of these and put it into your stable diffusion source real SR gain experiments pre-trained models. There's a typo there. That should have an E. I'll fix it. But you drop it into there and then all you have to do is from here after everything is installed. After you have all that stuff copied over, and I don't know if it's a necessity that, to have some of that stuff because I saw that it, the script is downloading in the background, but I'll go into that in a minute here. So you're in the, the environment. All you need to do is for CPU Python dot slash web UI dot pi space dash dash no dash half hit enter it's going to do its thing here it can take a couple minutes i'm on a ryzen 7 second generation it 
it's also running off of an SD drive. I don't know if that has anything. If everything was successful, you're going to get this screen and you're going to want to go to that address. One, two, seven, dot, zero, dot, one, dot, one, double dots, and it is seven, eight, six, zero. And you should have a website. What's working right now, and I don't know why this other stuff is broken, image to image is working. You can take a picture, close this out, open it up. Let's go with this image. Type it in here. Painted house. Change the seed. Submit. Come back up here. You can see CUDA is not available. It's disabling. And then it starts. Back to the site. Just wait. For me to go and do an image to image, and it is 512 by 512, it's going to take four minutes. Text to image also works. Um, the DDIM is what you would get if you follow the instructions right off of Stable Diffusion's website and you are running with CUDA. It's everything that's there. Some of these, all of these have worked for me. The problem that I'm having just today, last night it was working, and that's what I'm looking into. I will have it fixed at some point, but the upscaling is not working today. And I noticed that when I was running it, it looked like it was actually downloading new models off the internet every time I fired this up. So I want to fix that. I want to go and change it back to where I, the installer, the install process that I just took you through actually has the models and I think that's the difference. Um, like I said, it was working last night, but what is working is you can come in here. It's going to do its thing should be able to do is I should be able to take this I'm going to take this picture take the upscaler down and we're just going to leave this base thing on and that should run after it's batched some things to consider it does give you some little highlights if you're trying to mo do multiple pictures I would suggest taking this up, especially if you're really low on RAM. Um, I couldn't get certain sizes, like if you're trying to crank it up, it's not always good. Um, it would literally tell me at like 24 or 12, 20, 12, 1280 by 1280, it just wouldn't load. Like, it just sat there forever. I don't know if it was trying. I just got tired of waiting for the prompt to even show up after, like, 20 minutes. So I just closed it out and restarted. Um, it's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. The stuff that's out there isn't perfect. And that's part of it. Um, let me know if you guys find any fixes before I do for this upscaling. Um, Alright. Like and subscribe. Help me go and give you tips and tricks every week. Thank you.